It's your online singing coach back again today with a new reaction. Those home free boys have just gotten under my skin. I keep saying, oh, I should try a different acapella groups. A few of you have said like, you haven't done pentatonics, you should do pentatonics. You're right. <laughs> I should and I will. But there's something about those home free guys that I just keep coming back for more of. And if you're familiar with my home free reactions playlist, then you know I'm due for a song featuring Chance. He's the one guy I don't know very well yet. But I got an email from someone calling himself Voiceless Cowboy. And that email was compelling and super funny. And the voiceless cowboy told me I had to check out Tim Faust, Will Used to Love Me Tomorrow, Stay, Medley. Well, a funny email goes a long way. Not to mention, I am a fan of Tim, his amazing, crazy low voice. These are some classic oldies that I love. So this is what we're doing today. I promise, Chance, I haven't forgotten you. And I'm blabbing, so let's get to it. Tonight you're mine completely You give your love so sweetly Tonight the light of love is in your eyes But will you love me? Thank you so much for watching my rendition of a couple of songs that I always love sung by Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons, as well as many others. Uh, this song is available on an album called Pieces of Me, Volume 1, and you can find that at timfaustmusic.com. Uh, if you're interested in helping me make more of the music you love and getting some really cool exclusive perks in the process, please check out my Patreon campaign. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash timfaustmusic. Thanks for watching. <laughs> His voice, gosh, even just hearing him speak at the end, so much resonance, so crazy low. That's his speaking voice, and it's very low, but also very melodious. And it's like one of those voices you just want to hear. 
like even when he's just talking, I'm like, uh-huh, tell me all about your Patreon. <laughs> tell me every tier available and what you get. I just wanna hear him keep talking. Okay, so I know that he did all the voices in this one as Humphrey always does in, in their songs. And I, I can't sum up this medley any better than saying show off. <laughs> And I mean that in the best way. If you've got those skills, show it to the world because you are special. <laughs> what a range. Now, we know how low Tim can go. And it's insane. I didn't know that he could sing up there in that falsetto. He had a very, very good Frankie Valley sound up there. And my goodness, he just had to keep flipping around like, okay, I'm low now and I'm high now. And then he had this mid range too that really doesn't get shown off in the home free songs usually because obviously not many people can sing so low and with such richness the way he can. So that's his part in home free. But hearing this medley where he's in the mid range, I'll point it out because of course we're going back. Again, just a really great voice. He's so, Versatile, and did you notice how his tone changed too as he sang in different parts, like different voices of of the song? His tone and his expression and the way he was delivering it, some of the nuances, some of the styling techniques were getting changed up within within a note, <laughs> within a couple notes, within a phrase. He's like, now I'm doing this, now I'm doing this. Tim it's just showing off. But like I said, I love it. It's a good thing. It's a very rare gift to have such a crazy range and be able to sing so well all the way through the range. So yeah, I'm learning something new about Tim today. All right, let's, let's get back into it. And you know what we do, we dig into further detail. Tonight you're mine completely You give your love so sweetly Tonight the light of love is in your eyes But will you love me? I'm stopping right after that note because I this is sometimes something I think of when I hear Tim in that low range like that last me there you know it almost sounded to me like have you ever heard those Tibetan monks doing like the and the throat singing or just just like these really low chants you know chanting I could see him doing some meditation <laughs> albums actually which would maybe too far off his his usual path, but just with that resonant voice, it's just so enveloping. It would just fill up this room right now. I feel like if I were to touch a wall while he was singing, I would feel it vibrate. It's just so resonant. Like this recording without the visual I would swear that was a different singer there in the mid-range it does not sound like the low the low voice Tim he really has like this pop tone that I don't hear so much in his other stuff just because of the range from where he's singing here he's got like a really bright but full pop tone that I love I would be down with listening to him in this range all the time. Um, and again, his falsetto, the the real classic Frankie Valley sound there. 
I loved his voice in the falsetto. It was a little bit of a fuller tone for a falsetto, which usually is very, very light and thin. His falsetto had a lot of lovely fuller kind of overtones that made even the falsetto special. So, so damn Tim. Okay, keep, keep showing off. <laughs> Won't you say you love me all of the time? come dropped into like a fuller head voice there. It was such a smooth transition. It's really, again, just shocking when you're analyzing it from a vocal perspective, because that should be so hard for him, <laughs> given that he's a bass. But it just sounds effortless and, and easy as pie. The other thing I just want to comment on while I'm paused is I love seeing how much fun he's having with this. He's just playing. And it's, it's a joy to get to like peek in and see what he's coming up with. Come on, come on, come on and stay. Come on, come on, come on and stay. Come on, come on, come on and stay. I like that last high note at the end, but I also really love the Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow motif there. The way he's singing that is so tender. I will express my one complaint. I don't think you'll be too upset about it. My one complaint about this song is the fade out. Given how creative Tim is, like, I feel like he didn't have to fade it out. In the 50s, which is the era, 50s, 60s of these songs, everybody did a fade out. So I get it. I get why he did it. It's, it's authentic to the era. But I just feel like given how creative he is, he could have come up with a cool ending. That's just my preference. With that said, it was outstanding to, to really see Tim's versatility and his range. I, I really didn't know that he had it in him to get up there that high and have such a full sounding voice that high. Tim, I'm a fan. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed watching this with me. If you did, please be sure to hit subscribe. Oh, and I'll recommend my Patreon too, just like Tim did, if you'd like to join. I would absolutely love that. Thanks again for watching with me and I'll see you next time.